Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will talk about percentiles of ungrouped data. And this is also under measures of position or quantiles. So percentiles are 99 score points which divide a distribution into 100 equal parts. These score points are the first percentile up to 99th percentile. So these are denoted as P sub 1, P sub 2, P sub 3, P sub 4, up to P sub 99. Since the distribution is divided into 100 equal parts, each part contains of 1% of data distribution. If we are going to interpret, let's say P sub 1, 1% is less than or equal to P sub 1, and 99% is greater than or equal to P sub 1. So another one, let's say we have to get a score point between P sub 60 and P sub 70. Let's say P sub 61. So 61% is less than or equal to P sub 61. That is the interpretation for the percentile. Percentiles have equivalent score points to decile and Quartiles. Let's say P sub 10, that is equivalent to D sub 1 since it emphasized 10% of the data distribution is less than or equal to P sub 10 or D sub 1. Let's say P sub 25, that is between P sub 20 and P sub 30, that is equivalent to D sub 2.5 or quartile 1 or the first quartile. P sub 50 is equivalent to D sub 5 and this is also the second quartile or the median. Between P sub 70 and P sub 80, that is P sub 75, that is equivalent to third quartile or Q sub 3. For P sub 90, of course, this is equivalent to D sub 9. Same with P sub 20, that is D sub 2, P sub 30, that is D sub 3. P sub 40, that is D sub 4, and so on and so forth. So those are the equivalent points or score points to quartiles and deciles. Let us have example number 1. The following are scores of 10 students in their 40-item quiz. 34, 23, 15, 27, 36, 21, 20, 13, and 33. Calculate 28th percentile and 35th percentile. Again, the first step is to arrange the data distribution in ascending order from least to greatest. The first one is 13. Next is 15. Next is 20. Twenty one. 23, 27, 33, 34, and 36. If we are going to count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, we have 9 scores. So, n is equal to 9. Now, calculate the 20th percentile. Uh, the formula for the location of the percentile is P sub K is equal to K times the quantity of N plus 1 all over 100. K is the uh, location that you are going to find since you are going to find 20th percentile so that is P sub 20 so K is equal to 20 then N is the number of observation so N is equal to 9 plus 1 so 9 plus 1 10 times 20 that is equal to 200 divided by 100 since 100 equal parts, we are going to divide the distribution into 100 equal parts, so divide it by 100. 200 divided by 100, that is 2. So that is the second 
value. And the second value in the distribution is 15. So, P sub 20 is equal to 15. This means 20% uh, of the scores is less than or equal to 15. Now, calculate 35th percentile. So again, the formula in finding the location of the percentile is P sub K is equal to K times the quantity of N plus 1 divided by 100. Since we are going to divide the distribution into 100 equal parts. So now, K is the location that you are going to find. So K is equal to 35. Times n is equal to 9, so that is 9 plus 1 divided by 100. So 9 plus 1, 10 times 35, that is 350. Divided by 100, that is equal to 3.5. Since this is decimal, round off, so that is fourth value. The fourth value is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 21. So therefore, P sub 35 is equal to 21. This means 35% of the scores is less than or equal to 21. For item number 2, the scores of Miss Universe candidates from 7 judges were recorded as 8.85, 9.17, 8.45, 9.20, 8.56, 9.13, and 8.67. Calculate P sub 40 or 40th percentile using linear interpolation. So again, the first step is to arrange the data in ascending order from least to greatest. So the first one is 8.45 Next is 8.56 Next is 8.67 Next is 8.85 Next is 9.13. Next is 9.17. And the last one is 9.20. The next step is to calculate the location of P sub 40. So the formula in finding the location of P sub 40 is P sub K. Is equal to k times n plus 1 divided by 100 since we are dividing the data distribution into 100 equal parts. So we are solving p sub 40. So p sub k, k is 40 times n plus 1. n is the number of Data observation, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have n is equal to 7. So 7 plus 1 divided by 100. 7 plus 1, that is 8 times 40, that is equal to 320 divided by 100. So that is equal to 3.2 3.2 is between 3rd and 4th value The 3rd value is 8.67 and the 4th value is 8.85 So what is that value between 8.67 and 8.85? 
So now, let us calculate using linear interpolation. So separate 3.2, separate the decimal and the whole number. So 3 is third value. plus the decimal, 0 0.2, times the difference of the fourth value and the third value. The third value is 8.67, plus 0 0.2, times fourth value is 8.67. 85 minus 8.67 so subtract since this is inside the parentheses so 8.85 minus 8.67 using calculator this is equal to 0 0.18 times 0 0.2 plus 8.67 so, M does multiply 0 0.2 and 0 0.18. That is equal to 0 0.036 plus 8.67. So, now 8.67 plus 0 0.036, that is equal to 8.706 or 8.71. So therefore, P sub 40 is equal to 8.71. This means 40% of the scores is less than or equal to 8.71. For item number 3, Christian is a secretary in URC San Pedro branch. His salary is in the 70th percentile. Should he be glad on his salary or not? If you are going to interpret the problem, 70% of the employees receive a salary less than or equal to his salary. He should be glad because only 30% of the employees receive greater than or equal to his salary. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned from my video. And if you learned, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell na all for you to be updated on my latest video. Goodbye. God bless.